Hey, welcome to Simply Soprano Sax Starters. My name is CJ and I'm so pleased to be here, excited about today's tutorial and who's ready to play some sax? Today we're going to move on to the next part of this song um, which is sort of like a, a bridge, it goes like this. Welcome to Simply Soprano Sax again. My name is CJ. The whole aim of this particular channel is to facilitate those who own a soprano saxophone and to have your practice sessions led by someone playing a soprano saxophone. Just because then the pitch, the sound, everything matches what you're playing. The pitch varies from saxophone to saxophone. So for someone who plays an alto saxophone, the keys are different. It's probably an E flat. This is a B flat instrument. So it does work that every single saxophone lesson can apply depending on no matter what saxophone that you have. Um, so if you own another saxophone, you can still practice along with us, okay? The keys will just be different. So you listen, then you turn the music off, and then you practice on your saxophone. However, those of you who have this beautiful instrument here, the saxophone generally, whether curved, whether E flat, whether alto, tenor, barry, the saxophone is a beautiful instrument. In my opinion, it is my favorite instrument and that's not surprising at all. But um, no matter which one of these you have, join in and you'll be able to practice, okay? So last week we started um, by learning the first part of the song, Back to You. Um, which was a request by a very active subscriber. So um, I taught the first part and I said, go away this week and practice that. And I know you'd still be, ha you'd have to be practicing that, you know, in order to master it and get it really up there. Um, I did decide that a week's um, interval is about enough to top up that lesson until we get the song finished. Before we start, it's really important to understand why you're doing what you're doing when you're doing what you're doing in order to reap the best benefits. I hope that makes sense. But not understanding why you're doing something will cripple you and will set you back in terms of your ability to learn more, achieve more, and to make more progress. And therefore, I want to explain very briefly that the only reason why we learn other songs, okay, the aim is creativity here simply soprano sax that's our ultimate aim to get there like building a language you need to acquire the building blocks to that language so you need to learn your tenses you need to learn your you know sentence structures you need to learn complex vocabulary sophisticated vocabulary uh, you need to learn basic vocabulary simple sentences all of these facets and so many more that come together to form a language did you know that learning it is more effective when you're actually speaking it. So that's why we learn other songs. And that's why it's a great idea to learn a song that's already been written and played and performed. Learning that means you are acquiring all of those building blocks eventually and practicing them at the same time, okay? Because it wouldn't make sense to just pick up, uh, I'm trying to learn a language and I just pick up 
tenses and I try and master tenses on its own. In isolation, you can't really do that. You need to use tenses within a sentence. As you deliver, you'll know what mistakes you're making. As you deliver and as you communicate, you'll know which mistakes you're making, what you need to do better, what you're doing really well. And that's how we build a skill, a complete sequence of skills that form a particular level of performance. Okay, so today we're going to carry on with the other part of the song, which I demonstrated earlier. Um, so if you're ready, pick up your saxophones and let's go. All right, so we're starting with E and it's high E. So you cover one, two, three, four, five. And your octave key. So it ends on A, and that's, you need to use your diaphragm, okay, your stomach muscles, to push that air so that it's short and detached, what in music is called, is called staccato, okay? And that, that force has got to come from here, okay, not here. Actually, blowing from here is not a good technique at all. So you gradually, if you have done that, that's something that you have to change. If that's the way you play, uh, you want to be playing from there. Okay, so your stomach muscles push the air. And you'll find that it comes with more power as well. Okay, so let's do it slowly again, and then we'll work it up gradually. Um, and then by the third time, we'll be doing it um, at its regular tempo. Right, that's it from me for this week. I'm really, really excited about the future um, because when you begin a journey like this, you've got to remain excited about any journey you begin. You've got to account for the full journey and you need to understand that the fuel for your journey of learning is about being excited and making sure that every session, in every session, you are having fun. Have fun with your instrument. Don't just stay in the confines of theory. Don't just stay in the confines of what's meant to be. Break the boundaries. Play the instrument. Do something that you feel like doing on that instrument, okay? You might be a pace setter, for all you know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to press that button, okay? I want you to subscribe. I'd like you to press that bell, and I would really appreciate your comments. Tell me what you would like to learn. Once we finish this song, what else would you want to learn? Give me some suggestions. Um, we're very young in terms of our journey here as a YouTube channel, but I can guarantee you I'm going to be around here for um, many years. This is just the beginning. That's why this is so exciting. We're going to look back at some of these um, videos in times to come, and we're going to think, oh, wow. That was a very, very long time ago. <laughs> so uh, we will look different. We will sound different. But all in all, we would have picked up so much more skill. So don't stop practicing. Enjoy your instrument. And join me again next week um, for another session of Simply Soprano Sax Starters. A bit of a mouthful. But then, so is playing the sax. See you. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>